Hey guys, welcome to our homeschool room tour. I am so excited to take you on this journey as we become a new homeschool family this school year. I'm going to take you through our little setup, show you how I did things, also give you some ideas, and I just hope that this video inspires you in some way. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you hit that red subscribe button and joined our community here on YouTube. I will be sharing new homeschool videos every Sunday. Right before we get into this video I wanted to let you know that this is a group collaboration I've teamed up with some incredible women to bring you a video every single day for a week all things back to school prep whether you're homeschooling online learning or going back to school we've got it all for you I'll have everything linked down below all of the information so don't forget to check it out I am excited to give you guys an overview of everything that is in here and how I've organized it going into the school year. I'm sure this will change as we continue on in the year and we get started, but I thought I would just show you, give you some ideas. So I will start with this section. In this basket, I have just extra books that I will change out on our book wall and some seasonal books, things like that. In this cubby, I have a tray. These are so great, and I just picked it up at the dollar store. And they're so good for um, like inviting children to play and learn, and you know, putting anything messy on here. Great for Play-Doh. So many options. And an idea that I had was, I found these really cute letters at Dollarama. And I thought I could play with, you know, my son and my daughter. My daughter is four and my son is six. You know, we could be making words with my older son or I could be just doing letter recognition with my daughter. You know, we can mess them up. We can put them back in here. So lots of different options with that. And another idea for inviting a child to play and learn would be, for example, setting up like a book like that. And then maybe like a couple animals like that and then like a magnifying glass and just setting this on the table and inviting children over to play so this is kind of what I'm gonna be doing mostly with my daughter because she's only four so I want to do a lot of just like fun hands-on learning with her so this is just an example of how I would use this tray. Moving on to this cubby. This is gonna be like our educational book cubby and I've just started collecting them. I'm hoping to go to a couple more thrift stores and seeing what I can find. So I have that one that I just showed you guys. I also found this um, encyclopedia of science that looks really cool. So thrift stores are great places to look for books for sure. I found this dog one. My kids are so into dogs right now and just like learning about different breeds. And I loved this one because it gets into really specific detail about dogs. So I thought that might be fun for us. I have this National Geographic one. It just has tons of questions and answers to different questions. And then I just made this bookend using a Dollar Tree napkin holder. And then I just wrapped it with yarn and it makes a really good bookend inexpensively. So that's what we have there. This is their work cubby. I'm gonna have their work for the day in these three trays for them. I don't know if I'll pull them out and put them on the table, but this is kind of where they're gonna live. I'm gonna have a full video on our curriculum. So on our curriculum, what I'm doing, this is kind of where they're gonna live. I'm gonna have a full video on our curriculum because I'm still waiting on a couple pieces of the curriculum that I'm using. But yeah, so there's those three trays and then I just have three clipboards here. So coming over to the corner here of our little classroom, I had to have some inexpensive storage that was up and kind of tucked away that I could change seasonally and just hold things that the kids don't really need access to. So on the top shelf here, this is gonna be our seasonal shelf just to keep it fun and exciting. So right now it's summer, so I have um, just some seashells in a jar. And then I found these sweet little books from a thrift store. They actually have the year 1944 in them. And they're just like tales of little adventures. And that's what our summer is about. I love going on adventures with my kids. So I thought that that was really cute. 
And then I just have our little school name there as well as we're gonna be starting school in a couple weeks. It will change as the seasons go on. And then on this shelf, I just have this little gold wire basket just to bring in some more of the gold accents. I'm sure this will change again as time goes on, but I found this sweet little book at a thrift store and it is filled with like little children's words about love. It's so precious. I love it and I just think it's so pretty and I just liked the way that it looked right here on the shelf. And then I just have some like twine here. In here I have my glue gun. Over here I have my supplies. So I have some highlighters, Sharpies, we want to keep these away from kids. <laughs> I have some um, dry erase markers, a calculator, I have post-its and some paper clips in this cute little apple dish that I found at Dollarama. And then really inexpensive way to create some art. I just took one of these canvases and I found these butterfly stickers at the dollar store and I just stuck it on and voila, <laughs> you've got yourself some inexpensive art. There is an overview of those shelves. And then down here in this basket, I have Play-Doh. So all sorts of Play-Doh, Play-Doh supplies. They're welcome to just grab that basket. And then coming over to this section, I'll show you guys what is in here. So on top, I have this globe. This was actually, my husband used this when he was a kid. So it's really old and special. The kids love it. So I'm really happy to have that in our homeschool room. And then I, again, did some more inexpensive art. I just used a Dollar Tree frame and popped one of those stickers in there. Moving on to this paper tray. It is amazing. It's from Ikea. And I actually, this is from Amazon, this roll, and it doesn't quite fit, but I did go ahead and repurchase a roll from Ikea that fits perfectly. And um, it's so great. The kids can just grab paper when they need to. It's just great to have. So highly recommend that. This is an art caddy that I made oh, a little while ago and I love it. The kids love it. They have access to all art supplies. Anything that they could need is in here. All I did was use a Lazy Susan and some of these plastic looking mason jars and just put their arts and crafts in each one. And then I have this bigger one that has like pencils and some scissors, things like that in there. And it works perfectly. So I love this so much. It was so inexpensive and it's a great way to add some color and also some functionality to your homeschool room or even just a craft room or playroom. Awesome to have. Here I have a pot from Ikea. It's just an artificial plant with one of these gold little containers they have. Just give it a little pop of green. This is gonna be our theme book of the week. I'm going to try and do this weekly and just have a book that we read that the kids can look at pictures. And this one is all about like summertime and things in summer. It's a beautiful book. It's got some really great illustrations in it. it. Talks about like chasing fireflies and summer and so pretty. So I love it. And I just got this little book holder from the dollar store and the book just sits right on there like that. To go with that book, another kind of invitation to play and learn is this basket. This is from Ikea. It's actually a bread bowl, but I'm using it in a different way. I love to do that. And I just have some things that you might find in summer, some butterfly stickers, some seashells, this cute little flower my husband picked for my daughter. And then I have a magnifying glass. So just to kind of go with that theme of summer, and this will obviously change as their interests start to show, maybe, you know, we can go out and try and catch like butterflies or just kind of go with whatever their interests are once we start reading this book. Over here, I just have a couple of these Ikea spice racks and my plan is to have kind of my supplies up here. As the kids curriculum comes in, I can keep the teacher books up here with my homeschool planner. This is amazing. I'm going to show this to you guys. Pick this planner up at Walmart. They have all of their planners out now for back to school. I think this is like the perfect homeschool planner. It was 10 bucks and it's a binder so you can add paper to it, which I love. So if I'm keeping track of anything, I can add like paper to the to a section. I can have a piece of paper for each child. 
I love it so much. So it has this like overview of the month. And then it has the monthly layout. And then it has weeks. And I love it because I can section this off for my three kids. So there's a section for each of them. My plan is to do an overview of our month and then do like detailed lesson plans each week, depending on their curriculum, what I'm noticing their interests are, what I have planned for us to take learning that step further. So all of that, I can map that out here. Loved this, I highly recommend it. I can't wait to get in it. So this will just live here. When I go back to Ikea, I wanna grab like a bulletin board. They have like really inexpensive bulletin boards. And then we can put like any of their craft masterpieces that they want to um, display, like any of that, we can put that on the bulletin board over there. And then I have this bookshelf for them. So I'm going to change this out. Like I showed you earlier, the basket of books just to keep it fresh. Ultimately, I would love to just have like seasonal books just to really like talk about the different like seasons or themes that are happening right now. So I found this summer book at a thrift store. I'm excited to read that to them. I love Bernstein Bear. And then I just have like a few others um, that they can read here. So now going into the bins, I have it set up with these baskets that I got at Ikea. And I have our morning basket here, which I will do a full video on our morning baskets and how I've set that up coming up on my channel. And then each of my children has their own basket. I wanted them to have their own space in our homeschool room for them to put little things that they might want with them throughout the day. And then behind their basket, I've created this little caddy for them. They each have one. And it's basically like supplies that they might need for doing schoolwork. And each of them have one. And my thought behind it was because we're gonna be at home working, like if they wanna work at the dining table or the table, or maybe they wanna sit here at the bench, they can just carry this with them. And then in Mila's basket, I have just a book that she can look through. I have coloring pages, I have a whiteboard if she wants to draw or when I'm working with her and letters or numbers, and then a ruler. And then in Nicholas's bin, so same thing, he has this little caddy. And then in his bin, I have, he loves these little books. He can read them and it's really encouraging for him when he is able to read these books. So I have these, I have this book that he can really just look at the photos. I have a ruler. I also have a whiteboard for him as well. So if I'm working with like one of the other kids and they need something to do, they can come in their bin and, you know, do whatever it is that they are interested in doing. My older son's bin, same thing. He's got his caddy there. And then I just have um, a couple books that he might be interested in, a ruler, a whiteboard, and that's it and then underneath i have paper here so i've got construction paper doodle paper lined paper anything and everything is in this bin and then behind there i just have an old abacus that i got from a thrift store years ago so in case we need some help with math in this bin i have some animal toys Mila, when I first brought these, she played with these toys for about an hour. As you can see, she did this herself. She she took yarn and put it on the animals. So really fun, like just to introduce little things like this to your kiddos. And then I have some snap cubes. These are awesome. I highly recommend these. You can stack them, you can build stuff, you can sort with them. You can use them as math manipulatives. So many fun options with these. You can get them on Amazon. I'll try and link what I can down below for you guys. These are really cool too. And my older son loves these. He loves to build things. So they're just like plain wood blocks and you can like build different things like bridges or all sorts of things, towers, anything like that. So these are awesome. Moving on to this cubby. This is our arts and crafts cubby. So I have things in here like pipe cleaners, feathers, pom-poms, popsicle sticks, 
my kids love these especially Mila like glue is her thing right now so just like randomly gluing these on paper is fun for her so I've just got some stuff there behind there I have a little organizer with like smaller craft things like beads googly eyes things like that this bin I have oh, I want to show you guys these so this is from the Dollar Tree and it's meant for deviled eggs, but I think it is the perfect paint tray because you can put the different colors here and then you can put some water in here. So I have three of these and then I just have a couple canvases and some like cutouts of mermaids and princesses and some craft kits, things like that. This is my like teaching bin. So in this basket, I have some flashcards. I have, um, I just kept this. I th thought maybe we could do something fun while learning, like, you know, pop it and then, okay, five. What's five plus two? You know, kind of just to make learning fun. Um, and then also some clocks to help tell time. And then I bought these. These are so cute. They're magnetic letters. So I thought just for a fun activity, maybe take these over to the fridge and play, or I can buy like a baking tray and they can just, they'll stick to that as well. I wonder if they'll stick here. Oh my goodness, they stick to the basket. So that's cute. And then I have these, I made these during quarantine when we were homeschooling. I have some letters here that I just wrote out and then some sight words as well. And then I have an idea with these to add them to those wood letters that I showed you earlier, maybe like matching, or I could do sight words on these bigger ones. So lots of options. And then I just kept this because I thought I could keep those wood pieces in there. And then back here, I have just an activity tray. This is from Dollar Tree. It's meant for, I guess, like appetizers, but I thought this is perfect for like sorting so I could put different snap cubes and then we can do like sorting colors. We can be making patterns or another option is creating another invitation to play. So kind of like what Mila did on her own where she decided to put yarn on the animals and maybe I could have like a couple animals and some yarn, maybe like some snap cubes and like a pipe cleaner and just kind of put it in front of her and see what she gets up to. So that's an idea. And then back here, I just have like extras, extra highlighters, glue sticks, chalk, those types of things. And then in here, I just have some supports. I have this book that I got at Dollar Tree and it just helps with like learning letters, lowercase and uppercase. I have a dry erase version of that. And then I have these, they're kind of stuck, that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And they're just like a plastic sheet that you can slip anything into and then you can turn this into a dry erase board. So these are awesome, like practicing math sheets or even just drawing, like putting a piece of paper behind here. You don't even need a whiteboard, um, practicing letters, all of that super fun so these are great to have and that is our homeschool room tour thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out my description box i'll have all of the information about the incredible videos coming up this week in our group collaboration i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone <laughs>